What is up YouTube? I wanted to make a video to talk about how I got verified on Instagram as a musician, as a music producer, as a beat maker, whatever you want to call me. You know, this is a question that I get asked in my DMs uh, a couple of times a week from a lot of different people, you know, asking me how I got verified. So I wanted to make a video uh, giving you guys, you know, my honest thoughts and opinions and how I did it and also like, you know, how has it benefited myself as a music producer? You know, have I seen any difference in my music business since I've been verified? That's all the stuff I want to talk about. If you guys, you know, going into this video, if you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to be verified, this isn't the video for you. There's not like an easy one way to do it. Um, so if that's what you guys are looking for, this isn't the video. This is just gonna be me talking about how I got it. And it took me a while and a lot of different things I think that all came together to, to help get me verified. So if you guys are new to the channel and watching this for the first time, I just wanna give you a bit of background about myself. My name is Omido and I produce hip hop beats, you know, type beats. Uh, I'm in the whole type beat game, um, hip hop, you know, trap, pop, EDM. I do all these different genres. I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years now. You know, last year in September or August, around the fall, late summer, early fall, my YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. And my Instagram account, you know, I've been on Instagram trying to grow that for a while. I've grown it to over 35,000 followers. And as of November last year, November 2019, I finally got that blue check on Instagram. And it was actually kind of a surprise. It was something that I didn't really expect to happen because you know it took me so long to get to this point. I wanna share with you guys everything that I did to get to this point. You know, I know that some people on Instagram, they're always talking about like, oh, you know, if you pay for the service, you can get verified. All that stuff, complete BS, <laughs> you know, don't listen to any of that. Um, I did get verified on Instagram through doing the request verification. And if you guys didn't know this, on your profile, if you go to your Instagram profile and go to settings, account, there's actual request verification uh, option right there. But I do wanna say, you know, don't get your hopes up with getting <laughs> verified through this process right away. You know, I did this request verification thing, you know, you enter your name, your category, uh, I think you have to upload a, a photo ID. I did this like six or seven times until I actually got verified on Instagram. So, you know, I would request the verification, I would wait, you know, maybe a week, I would get denied. I didn't really think too much of it. You know, I would come back maybe a month or two later, just try it again, see what happens, nothing happens. Just kind of, it was something, you know, it was like, hey, I didn't really try requesting this for a while. Let me try it again. So I kept doing that. And eventually one morning I requested it and I checked my Instagram account later in the day and I saw the blue check, but here's what I did leading up to that moment. So as I was saying, you know, my YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. So I was grinding on YouTube for kind of 10 years, you know, uploading beats, uploading videos. As a music producer, a lot of the stuff that I was uploading was you know, just, you know, I would upload a hip hop beat and include a picture of Drake or a picture of Travis Scott or something. Same with my Instagram, you know, when I was posting beats on my Instagram, I would just kind of post pictures or I would, you know, use visualizers or I would, you know, re record my screen dancing around to FL Studio, right? But then something that I started to do a couple months before that was I started to really kind of improve my personal brand. You know, I was thinking that maybe to be more noticed online and be more official, instead of producing my beats under, a, a you know, hiding behind a picture of Drake or, you know, just using a logo, I started to include more of myself in my posts and my daily uh, content on Instagram. Leading up to this, I was posting a lot of videos on Instagram of myself, making beats in my studio, showing the process instead of just showing an FL Studio project file. Um, on my YouTube channel, I was posting uh, some type of vlogs, some, you know, tutorials, kind of just diving in that field with a personal branding there. And, you know, going back to Instagram, I was always trying to have stuff of myself in my story. So like, you know, me talking about beats, me just holding the camera in front, kind of vlog style like this. Um, I'm talking about you know what was going on what I'm working on all this stuff basically what I'm trying to say is that you know if you took a look at my Instagram profile before I got verified every post pretty much was myself in it 
So it's like you would look at my Instagram and instead of just seeing, you know, random other stuff, pictures of FL Studio, it was all myself. So I think that really helped Instagram to see that, okay, you know, this account, this Omido Beats account on Instagram is an actual person, is an online personality. You know, maybe that stuff helped verify him. Another thing that I was doing was, you know, being a producer, a lot of the times my beats are just in the background, right? And I'm not saying that in a negative way, I'm just saying that, you know, my beats, I post them on BeatStars, I post them on YouTube, I post them on my, you know, website for people to buy and, you know, for other artists to be the, the focal point, to be the center of attention, so to speak. Uh, but this was something, you know, leading up to my verification that I kind of was changing a bit. Instead of just being a producer in the background, I started collaborating with more artists on Spotify. You know, I was making a couple of records, teaming up with artists, producing, you know, custom beats for people's projects or albums. And I was working with a few artists and I was getting into some big Spotify playlists too, some official Spotify editorial playlists. Uh, so kind of beefing up my Spotify game too, which I think definitely helped with my credentials a little bit. <laughs> and then, you know, just before I got verified, I actually released my first single as a producer. You know, I got into this whole game for making beats. I'm a horrible singer, a horrible rapper, but I found an acapella online and I made a beat around it and I dropped it on Spotify as my official single, official single of Omido, <laughs> you know, no other producer, no other artist on it. This was an Omido track instead of an Omido beat, if that makes any sense. So yeah, so I did all this stuff and then uh, I think just the combination of everything, you know, really focusing on my personal brand, having some, you know, accomplishments that are in my name that look official, uh, and just kind of grinding for years and years. I think all these things came together and it finally worked. You know, I wasn't even expecting it. Like I said, I, I requested that verification through the Instagram account settings and I did it in the morning, came back, I just checked my Instagram later in the afternoon. I was like, sweet, got that blue check. But I wanna talk about how this has changed my business in any way, you know, my beat selling business. What have I noticed since I've been verified? And to be honest with you guys, nothing has really changed. You know what I mean? It's not like since I've been verified, I've been selling more beats. You know, my beat sales are still what they were, you know, six months ago, a year ago, before, you know, I got verified. Being verified hasn't you know, made people want to buy more beats from me. It's kind of the same thing. And, you know, I also had people asking me, since I'm verified, uh, does the algorithm work better in my favor? Are more people seeing my content? Am I getting more likes, more engagement? And I will kind of say, you know, my Instagram has been increasing, kind of blowing up in terms of followers and content. Uh, but this isn't because of me being verified. This is because I'm using a different strategy on Instagram now that I recommend to you guys too. You know, with Instagram, my Instagram account is doing really well at the moment because I'm posting, you know, engaging content most days of the week, you know, five, six, seven days a week, I'm posting new content. And you know, again, this isn't, you know, just me posting, you know, recording my screen, my FL Studio project. I'm posting videos of myself making beats in cool different locations. I kind of have this cool setup going. It's like a lot of people are kind of realizing that who I am as a producer and they're just kind of you know recognizing my face more and more the more times I post this content uh, you know yeah my Instagram account is doing really well at the moment but I think you know it, it has no difference being verified or not it's just a matter of are you posting content consistently are you engaging with people you know like I said I try and post majority of the days in a week. I try and always have multiple things in my story. I'm always replying to DMs. I'm always replying to comments. I'm doing all these things that help get my posts seen by more people, uh, help the algorithm work in my favor. And I don't think that being verified has really impact on this. Like I've seen other accounts who aren't verified, who are just absolutely crushing it on Instagram right now. And these people might have more accomplishments than myself. But the main thing it comes down to is just the content that you're posting. Are you posting enough content? Is your content exciting? Is your content engaging? And I think if you're doing that, it doesn't matter if you're verified or not. Like it, it just, I'm being honest, like I haven't noticed any difference being verified versus not being verified other than I have some blue check mark that, I don't know, looks kind of cool, but really it has no difference. It all comes down to 
posting content online. That's kind of the main reason I wanted to share this message with you guys is to not get caught up in you know your numbers or your followers or if you're verified or not. Just focus on the content. I think that's the biggest strategy that you can have right now as a musician, as a rapper, as a singer, music producer. Just work on posting content consistently and eventually you'll get that blue check if that even means anything to you. There's a whole lot of better stuff that can result from you posting content consistently and uh, engaging on Instagram, engaging with your followers. Just play the content game and you'll uh, get a lot of success that way. So I hope this helped answer some of your guys' questions. I know if you were looking for like an easy way to be verified, this wasn't the video because it's not a simple process. It was just something that happened to me. But I just wanted to encourage you guys to not get discouraged if you aren't verified. Just keep posting content, post dope songs often, keep crushing it, and uh, eventually greatness will come your way. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.